no one hyena. Nick, if the Vikings could ever pull up this, an upset victory here tonight, it would really go well going, you know, into the media this season. Things have happened here in the past, same type situations, and the kids from Winter rise to the occasion. Let's see what the story has in, fate has in store tonight. Well, Nick, their big star is sophomore, 6'5", number 32, Dorian Brown. Last year, he's got a couple of dunks on Winter as a freshman, really clogs up the middle, but hopefully he stays outside tonight on us. Tip now, controlled by Classical. Castillo's shot is up around, hit the backboard. Jay Epstein refereeing tonight. Got it started the Winter Summer League 20 years ago, Steve. Look familiar. Inbounded now. Burgess, middle of the court to Jenkins, taken away by Classical. That C4. Brogdon with the ball. Number one. Over to Grasso. To Brogdon. Back outside now. Castillo. Castillo looking inside. Back outside. Shot is up, around, no good. Rebound, Burgess. Butelaro with the ball now. Mike top of the circle. Looking the corner. Back outside now. Garina with the ball. Right side covered by Grasa. Grasa playing the D back out now. Butelaro, number 14 for the Vikings. In the corner. Looking inside to Burgess. Back outside now. Dillard shoots a J. It's up. No good. Rebound inside. Castillo controlling, going to his left hand. Top of the circle now. Shot is up and around, and it'll be a Viking ball. Classical in a 2-2-1 trap. Mike battle out in the middle of the court. Controlling, loses it. And it'll be a Viking ball. Jenkins with the ball now. Looking up court. Back out now. Arena. Arena trapped or dribbling the ball. Middle of the court. Burgess. Jenkins took it up. Locked inside. Ball up and laid in by Vatilaro. 2 0 by. Vikings go up. 2 0. Inside now, Castillo. Peter Grasso, jump shot. He's got it. That's three. Inbound now, Vatilaro. Torina. Back out now. Controlled. Headman the ball. Here's Danny driving, shooting up on it. In. Beautiful drive. Danny Dillard took it right to the butter. Four to three Vikings. Top of the circle now, classical. Looking inside, shot is up around, no good. Tried to do a sky dunk there. Brown couldn't convert. Butler with the ball, right side of the court. Drives in, passes it off now. Jenkins, Jenkins looking in the corner. Back outside, Butler. Arena on a bomb. Around, no good rebound, Castillo. Ball's head man. Shot is up, no good. Tipped inside, Brown. Rebound by Dillard. You can feel the action out there tonight, Steve. Nick, it's awesome. Castillo with the ball now. Back out to Brogdon. Brogdon, J. It's good. Six to four. Lynn Classical. The Rams go ahead. Middle of the court. Ball's tipped away. Steve, you have to break this brush. You can't dribble. It's got to be pass, pass, pass. Yeah, Classical is putting it on a great 2-1-1 trap. Vikings seem to be a little shaky, but uh, they're going to this spot. They got Burgess wide open in the middle. This 3-2 uh, this zone seems to be giving them a little trouble. Forcing them outside too much. They got to rotate the ball over to the other side. Dorian Brown, number 32, is a sh shot swatter. He's a human eraser in there, but the Vikings are out of control. Back outside. Top of the circle. Bradford's shot is up. 
Tip no good. Tip the round again. And it's going to throw by the Vikings. Great hustle by the Winter kids under the hoop. They're going after those loose balls. Six to four. Bud Laro goes to the corner now. Jenkins inside. Tipped away. It'll be a Viking ball. Number 32, Dorian Brown has established himself inside, Steve. He had two blocks that have really been wonderful, spectacular plays. Yeah, Nick. They, they got three guys outside really bothering the Vikings. No, not giving them any outside shots. But they got Brown back in the middle to protect. Like that. Seafit's pretty big himself. They got to get the ball to Burgess in the middle. He's got to turn and take that jumper. You're absolutely right. The other thing is the classical players, but the Vikings hit a few outside shots. They have their hands by their sides. Should go right up for that uncontested shot from the outside. Back now inside the action. Shot is up around. Tipped around. No good. Rebound inside. Brown shoots it up and he's got it. Eight to four. Rams take the lead. Vikings inbound. Burgess now to Arena. Arena controlling. And we've got a push on number one, William Brogdon for classical. What did Hank McCarthy used to say, Steve? Get the ball in and look up the court. Yeah, you can't put it right on the floor. Got to turn and read. I'm sure Coach Grimes told them, look up court, pass the ball, and don't lose your dribble. Breakaway now inside. Danny pump fake, shoots it up, blocked inside. And we've got a jump ball. Dorian Brown has a tremendous reach, Steve. Three blocks already. Number 32 for Classical. What a wingspan on this kid. Back inside now. Take it away. Headman the ball back out now. Controlled by the Vikings. Montalaro headmans it. Burgess retrieves it, and it'll be a Viking ball. Jenkins to inbound. Looking inside. Back outside. Burgess. Jenkins in the corner. Drives by and he got hit. Ball to number 10. Anthony Seifert. Jenkins to inbound. Top of the circle. It's Burgess. Number 33. Drives in. Dribbles all the way. Shoots it up around in. Ball doesn't seem to want to fall in tonight, Steve. Eight to four. Vikings trail by four. Now it's Peter Grasso, number 40 for Classical. Inside, taken away by Dillon. Beautiful play by Danny. Danny with the ball, controlling. Bartolaro shoots up a bomb. No good. Rebound inside. There's a fight. Castillo controls. Here's Brogdon with the ball. On his left is Grasso. Brogdon drives by his man, shoots it up around, no good. Rebound Dillon inside. Burgess with the ball, controlling it to Bartolaro. Mike Bartolaro, left side, passes it over. Now Jenkins to Burgess. Burgess looks, shoots up to soft. Day. He's at it. He hits it. Eight to six, Vikings trail by two. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Brogdon with the ball now, William Brogdon. And there'll be a foul underneath the hoop. That'll be on James Arena, number 31, for the Vikings. See, what do you think of the first part of the first half of the first half here? Well, the Vikings seem to be handling the pressure fairly well. Now they've adjusted their offense a little bit. They're really having trouble on the offensive end. They're really extending that defense. Vikings got to get in an up-tempo game here, maybe. Burgess and shoots one. it up around and in. Score the hoop. Falls on number 40, Pete Grasso. Beautiful drive by Sean Burgess, but the guy who made the play was Danny Dillon down the other end of the court, Steve, taking a ball away from Dorian Brown as he turned for that soft jumper. So the Vikings have now tied it 8-8. Eight to eight. Nick, the Vikings never say die. I'd just like to see maybe Mike Bartolaro, James Arena, or Jeremy Jenkins hit a jumper or two, sort of loosen up that defense a little bit. Shot 
by Burgess is no good. Rebound tipped. Danny Dillard retreats it under the hoop. To Mike Bartolaro, he pump fakes. Outside now, Arena. James shoots it up softly off the backboard. No good. Follows his own shot, and he's got it. 10 to 8. Vikings go up two. Tremendous play by number 31, Arena. James Arena, Steve, showed great hustle. Dorian Brown, top of the foul line, shoots it up around. Benson. No good. No foul. And it'll be a Viking ball. Great defense by Dan Dillard. Nick, you got to give Jan credit. He's been on the board playing Dorian Brown tough. Oh. Ball's inbound. Oh, the, there's, a, there's a travel. He danced all the way. He did the Philly shuffle all the way back to the Lynn Commons on that one. The refs were a little bit of delay on that. They must not be used to the fumes coming off the airplanes here. Now, control Vatilaro over to Jenkins. That's the way to break this press. In the corner now, Arena shoots it up, and it's blocked by Brown. Dillon recovers. And we have a foul underneath the hoop. That's on Lynn Classicals, Anthony Seaforth, number 10. Vikings the inbound. For everybody who's just tuned in here, the Vikings have a 10 to 8 lead over the Rams of Lynn Classical. Now the Vikes will inbound. Shot is up, and we've got a foul. Foul on Valerie Lewis, number two. Jeremy Jenkins going to the line. Steve, you could you could almost feel it just when the when the ball just got tipped off, you knew it's gonna be a great game. Nick, it's always Winthrop playing classical tough, no matter how good the classical teams are. Winthrop comes out undersized, but you know what? They always got a big heart out there. Coach Grimes and all the coaches doing a great job. They're well organized. How, how can you forget some of the time? The great wins over Lynn Classical. The, the, the state tournament game when Anthony Poto had a tremendous game against Classical. And throughout the years, Danny Dillon fights great defense. Control now, Vikings lead 11 8. But Lara on the right side now, Arena looking with the ball. James back out now, the Mike. Mike the floor general out there, directing the troops in the corner now, Jeremy Jenkins, middle to Sean, back outside, hits up for three, no good shot. Rebound, fight inside, Jeremy Jenkins retrieves. Looking inside now, Arena drives in, Brown tries to slap him, and he does. Retrieved inside, Dylan has it in, score the hoop. Vikings extend their lead to five, 13-8, we've got a timeout by Tommy Grasso, the Lynn Classical with the score. The Vikings 13, the Rams of Lynn Classical 8, and there's electricity in Holland Gymnasium tonight. Nick, how can you not love the Vikings here? Dan Dillard, Sean Burgess, James Arena, they're going to that board like it's their ball. They're outsized, but you know what? It doesn't matter. And now we're being entertained by the Rams of Lynn cheerleaders. Well, Steve, you could imagine, I know a lot of people will be watching this telecast on WCAT, as well as all the international channels that'll be It'll be beamed to, I think, what, 32 countries off the WCAT satellite dish will enjoy this. Imagine if everybody, if this gym was filled like it was in the 70s, if you had a 1,200 capacity, what pandemonium there would be in here tonight, Steve? These kids are playing their hearts out. Well, it's still early, Nick. It's going to get even better. Brogdon with the ball now. Classical, a very good team. Undefeated, 6-0. And the ball thrown away. Ball will be inbounded. Bartolaro with the ball. Glasgow in a 1 2 2 defense. Back outside now. Bartolaro to Arena to Burgess. Sean drives by his man, pump fakes him, lays it up around, no good. Fighting inside. And the ball is off Valerie. Valerie Lewis hustling for classical number two. Mike Bettelotto inbound for the Vikings. Looking in the corner, Jeremy covered. Back out the mic, shot is up, no good. 
Here come the Rams. Castillo with the ball. Goes to the middle of the court. Shoots it up softly, and the ball trickles in. 13 to 10. Mike Badalaro with the ball. Badalaro in the corner now. Arena going inside, tipped away. Controlled. Here come the Rams. Shot is up, and we've got a foul. Joseph Castillo will be going to the line. See, you have two veteran Northeast Conference coaches here. Tom Grasa, Pete Grimes. This game is very, very well coached. Grasa called a key timeout there when they saw his team fluttering. Nick, two of the veteran coaches of the Northeast Conference. Tommy's been there, I think, 18 years. Uh, Coach Grimes has been there, I think, 10. You know what? They do a tremendous job with all the kids. You know, I know Tommy works hard with them. And I know Coach Grimes works off-season, on-season. He's got him in summer leagues. He's got him everywhere. Does a great job with the kids. Well, we're very fortunate uh, for coaching, coach like Pete Grimes, coaching here in Winthrop, as well as the other coaches. Coach Grimes, outstanding. Inside now, the action. Ball tipped away. Jenkins retrieves, pump fix, blocked by Brown. Control now, and we've got a foul on Sean Burgess. We can't have that. We cannot afford to lose Sean Burgess out at all. He can't do that. He can't go up there to even chance that. Sean's our, I mean, Dan Dillard's been on the boards, but him and Sean are our big bangers in there. Okay, Castillo covered by Arena. In the corner now, Brogdon shot is up. No good. Tipped inside. Shot is up. No good. Tipped around. And they'll score the hope. He's living in there. Vikings suddenly trail Steve 14-13. Now to Jeremy Jenkins. In the corner now. They need a couple of outside J's. Jenkins shot up, no good. Tipped around. Outside. Brown back outside, inside. And he stuffed the ball. Dorian Brown stuffed the ball. Put Classical up 16-13. Vettelaro in the corner now. Back outside. Jenkins looking to the hoop. Brown extended. Jenkins controlling. A nice swing to the other side. Quick shot. Back outside. Shot is up and good. Vikings tie it up. 16-16. Jeremy Jenkins. What a long shot. Back in the action now. Classical inside the Brown. Brown pump fake. Shoots it up. No good. Rebound Burgess. Badalaro controls, looking up court to Jenkins. Badalaro drives the lane, dishes off. Arena open three. Around no good. Rebound Dillard, pump fake. And it'll be a Viking ball. O'Brien in the game for Jenkins. Outside now. Burgess shot jumper. Yes! Vikings go up 18-16. Castillo, short jumper, and he's got it. He's smooth, Nick. Very Paul. 18 18. Oh, here comes a trap. No? Man to man. But Lauro, right side of the court. Mike controls it, dribbles in, he balls knocked away. Nick Classical changed up the defense. They went man to man. We're going to have some movement and some weak side picks against this team. Well, Mike, we want to thank Mike D'Elia. Mike D'Elia, this game wouldn't be possible. He's doing a great job on the camera for us all season. Back outside now. Ball taken away by Brown. He goes behind his back, shoots up a short jumper, and it scores it. 2018, the Rams lead by two. Guadalaro covered by Brogdon. Mike on the right side. Burgess pump fakes. Controlled. Brown inside now. Taken away. Back outside. Ball is kicked around. Vikings control. Burgess on the ground. Great hustle. O'Brien now headmans the ball to Arena. Arena goes right. Shoots up a fadeaway. Jay around no good. And it'll be a foul on Danny Dillard.
Steve, I'll tell you, the number of Winthrop hands here, they're making a lot of noise, the Vikings fans tonight. Costello on the right side to Brogdon. Brogdon now shooting it up around, no good. Tipped inside, rebound goes inside to Grassa. Pete Grassa over inside now, back out. Costello to Grassa inside. Brown lays it up and in. O'Brien controlling. Middle of the court. Covered by Grassa. O'Brien looking, top of the circle. Burgess shoots up a J, short. Danny Dillard on a rebound, and he got hit. Absolutely. Anthony Seaford going to the bench. He'll be replaced by number two, Valerie Lewis. Steve, 3-3-3 to go in a half. And it'll be a... Viking ball. Watch this inside play here now. Inside pump fake, no good. Bradford drives in, Abby. shoots it up around, no good. Shot tip. Vikings retrieve. Mike Vadalaro with the ball here. 22-18. Vikings trail by four. Vadalaro to Jenkins. Good idea. That's all right. Joel Costello controlling. Costello with the ball, right side. To Grasa. Peter Grasa on a J. Shot is up, no good. Rebound inside. Jenkins controlled. Jeremy now to James. James with the ball to Mike. Mike Vadalaro, top of the circuit. Passes the Viking, Leif Erickson. On the right side. Goes by his man. Drives in. Pump fakes. And we've got a jump ball. Man to man pressures bothering the Vikings here. Now 246, down four. Can't let this lead be any longer bigger than that at halftime. So well, Mike had the right idea. The only thing is he didn't really have a big guy to pass it off to. William Brogdon. Brown. Brogdon with the ball. Need help. Inside the Brown. Good help. Good help. By Jenkins. Team fouls that is. Got a double round. Get off, so Jerry. Score the hoop. James Arena is covering the ball out of bounds. He's got to step back and double Brown right there. There's well, no way he can, you know. Brown going to the line. Shot is good. Vikings call a timeout here. 25-18. They trail by seven. Classical has come back. This is a good classical team. Steve, why don't you introduce the Winter Cheerleaders this year? All right, Nick. We'll watch them first. We got Captain Jessica Diorio, Captain Patty Steele, Jamie Sylvia, Tony Balabella, Laura Bacigalupo, Savannah Swintick, Heather Swintick, Brianna McCarthy, Nicole Hani, KJ Camper, and Coach Sue Hughes. Nick, I think that was a good uh, timeout by Coach Grimes there. Momentum was really swinging. You know, like we said before the game, this Clint Classical team is undefeated. For people who have just tuned in, we have a 25-18 score. The Vikings of Winthrop trail by seven. 2.31 to go in the first half. Clint Classical coming in undefeated, 6-0. Ball's in the middle of the court now. Burgess drives in, drives by Brown, shoots it up, and he got hit. Fouls on number two, Valerie Lewis. No, that'll be on Dorian Brown, number 32. Oh, big three. 
Sean Burgess, number 33, at the line. Shot is up and good. Vikings trail 25-19. Burgess, of course, the greatest classical player to ever come out with number 33 was Harry Aganis, Steve, a classical. Sean Burgess were in 33 for the Vikings. Second shot is up and good. Vikings cut it 25-20. Now with the corner a trap of their own. Brogdon controlling. Covered by Jenkins. Good defense. Oh, carry. <laughs> Ball is controlled, and he loses it. Jenkins controlling. Going to the right side. Rides in, shoots it up around. No good. Tipped in. Great follow by Burgess. Fights on. He got hit. Great hustle by Sean Burgess. Falls on number two, Valerie Lewis. Nick, Vikings got to make their foul shots here for the last two minutes. Vikings this year are shooting excellent at the foul line. This is a great foul shooting team. Well, Coach Grimes called the pivotal timeout. They were trailing 25-18. It looked like the game was going to get a little bit away from them. They've come back now. First shot is good. They've cut the lead now to four. We got to stop Brown down this end somehow. Classical. They're going to isolate him. Dorian Brown, number 32. Tremendous player for Lynn Classical. He'll be a Division I ball player. He's only a junior. Sophomore. Sophomore, that's right. Yeah. Second thought is good. 25-22. Back out now, Brogdon. Inside the Brown, the sophomore. Dorian shot is up, around, and it trickles in. And a nice touch for a big man. 27-22. It's fun. George is taking Brown, and we've got... I don't know about that, Steve. I don't know. I, I think he just swung his elbow a little too strong. He did. Coach Rimes didn't complain, so he know it was a foul. 27-22. Mike's trail. Two on one. Back out now. Arena lays it up around and in. Yes, sir. What a pass by Vadalaro to Arena. They've cut it to three. Dorian Brown, short jumper. It's good. O'Brien with the ball. Controlled now. Back outside, O'Brien. Swinging it now to Vadalaro. Mike with the ball. In the corner, Jeremy Jenkins. Back outside, he's covered by Valerie Lewis. Jenkins go by Lewis. Drop pass, laid up. Burgess plays it up around, no good. Nice play. And we've got a foul on Mike Bartolaro. 29-24, Bikes trail by five. Nick, that was great uh, play by Jeremy Jenkins. Nice crossover throw. Brown picked him up, back to Burgess. Burgess just missed his layup. Very seldom you see that. This is layup. You're going to win this type of game, see the Vikings have to convert because what's happening is we're working very hard for our hoops and they're just coming down and shooting little ju trickle jumpers. <laughs> Shot is good by Dorian Brown. Classical extends their lead to 6, 30, 24. Good foul around. Mike's wide open down the other end. Sneaking away. Dorian Brown shoots. He's got 31 24. 55 seconds in the half. Jeremy Jenkins controls. Here's good arena. James shoots it up around. No good. Rebound inside. Great fight. Sean Burgess pump fakes and he's got a block. We got a foul. Foul on number 32, Dorian Brown. And that's the way you draw him. You pump fake in there. Great hustle by Sean Burgess in there. Sean's worked hard in the offseason on that foul shot. Really paying off this year at the line. Second shot. He's up and good. You can't say this has not been an enjoyable game. This is the best ticket in town. Control now, 40 seconds to go. 
Ball is taken away in the corner now. Brogdon shoots up a jumper and he hits. That hurt. Brogdon converts. Vikings trail by eight. Middle of the court, Jeremy Jenkins now. James Arena goes by his man on the right side. Controlled now, Sean Burgess. Burgess goes by. Brown pump fakes. And they're going to call a travel on Burgess. That was a play. His foot just slipped a little bit. He was by him, Steve. Classical will get a last shot here. Control now. Castillo with the ball on the right side. Brogdon. Shot is up. No good. Rebound inside for Lotto. And that's going to be up and no good. That's the end of the first half here from Holland Gymnasium with the score. The Rams of Lynn Glasgow 34. The Vikings of Winthrop 26. We'll be back for second half basketball action. Get him in the second half, guys. And okay, Vikings fans, we're back here for second half action where the Vikings trail the Rams of Lynn Classical 34 26. So I'm going to hand it over to Steve Mahoney. Steve, your impressions of the first half. The undefeated Classical Rams 6 0. NECA was a great first half. You know, it's amazing that they're down eight points, though. You know, and I think the difference is that Classical, when, the, you know, came up with a couple of loose balls and they hit three or four outside three-pointers. You know, went to just couldn't connect on those three-pointers. Then we had a couple of lost opportunities at the end of the half. Mike Bright here from Sun Trans. Mike, your impression of the first half. Any statistics? Very good first half for them. Brown led them with 17 points. For us, it was spread out with Burgess with 10 points. Six, six for six on free throws. Arena had six. Jenkins and Dillard, four. And Battellaro, two. Are doing a nice job of running the offense. That was Mike Bright. And as he said, Dorian Brown, six foot six inch sophomore, 17 first half points as well as six block shots. He's been the factor for classical. Here are the Rams now. Castillo looking in the corner now. That's Brogdon. Brogdon, number one, shoots it up left hand, and he scores. 36-26. Classical has its first double-digit lead. Middle of the court now. Shot is up around, no good. Tipped away. Here comes Dorian Brown. Brown tries to pass it, take it away by Burgess. Sean has a breakaway to Jenkins. He lays it up and in. Vikings cut it to a 36-28. Nice play by Burgess to Br Jeremy Jenkins. Castillo with the ball, top of the circle. Castillo looking to the right side. He looks at the glass, shoots it up, around, no good. Tipped around, rebound, Dillard. Danny controlling, outlet pass now. Mike Vadalaro, number 14. Mike looking up court. Brogdon on the D. Vadalaro now to Jenkins, covered by Grasso. Grasso now, Jenkins looking inside. Outside now, Burgess shoots a J. Around, no good. Rebound inside goes to Dillard. And they're going to give the ball to the Rams. I think the Vikings got to hit their out shots here in the second half. They want a chance. Vikings playing that tough defense, though. Just see if they can connect on the offense. Costello with the ball. Goes right, goes left. Double team. Foul on Vadalaro. Vasily Malios enjoying the ball game tonight. Rams to inbound from the side. 30-second clock is on. Looking out, top of the circle. Seaforth swings at the Grasa. Grasa shoots up a three. He's got it. Peter Grasa from downtown. That's the coach's son, Tom Grasa. Vadalaro now with the ball. Passing it off to Burgess. Sean drives. He can't see in the... And we've got a timeout here with the score. The Rams of Glasgow, 39. The Vikings, 38. 28. They trail by 11. 14.06 to go. Steve, what's happening in the huddles here? 
Well, I think Coach Grimes has got to calm him down. Classicals pressure in man to man. Mike's having a little problem getting the ball up. Vikings really on in an offense. Vikings got to control the flow of the game a little better on the off conference side. Maybe get some movement, maybe have Arena bring the ball up against the big guy. Is that a Sean Burgess bring it up? Defensively, they're doing okay, but they've got to stop Brown. I see their double team, and it's going to leave the other guys open. That's why Grasa hit that last three, but there's nothing they can do about that. They've got to double down on Brown. The Vikings got to hopefully hit a few outside shots, control the offense a little better, and keep up the solid defense. Number three, though, Cotillo, Nick. He's up. He's tough. Double on Brown, that's good leaves him with a one-on-one -on -one up top. Here's number one, William Brogdon, top of the circle. Brogdon with his left hand. Going left. Shoots up a shot, one no good. Controlled. Put a in the corner. Torino to Vitalaro. Back outside now, Jeremy Jenkins, soft jumper, no good. Rebound inside, fight inside. And it'll be a Viking ball. Vikings looking for a foul on Dorian Brown. Sean Burgess looking inside, Dan Dillard back outside. Sean Pumpfakes drives by his man, shoots it, no good. Control now, Castillo, lead pass, laid up around, no good, tipped around, and Dan Dillon on a rebound. Vikings have a three on two. Dillon controls. Back out now, Vettelaro. 39-28, Vikes trail by 11. Vettelaro on the right side now to James Arena. Arena with the ball, going with his left hand, looking inside. Burgess looking, dribbling Sean, and we've got a foul. Foul on number 10. Now that should have been a technical foul. You can't kick the ball three times. I don't think they saw it. I don't know. The other guy was going to the table. Jenkins goes left, drives by his man, shoots it up around. It looked like he hit the... Look, some of the fans are looking for offensive goal, 10. And it'll be a carry. Castillo carries the ball. Been doing that all game, carrying it. Finally called it on him. Shot, jump, shot, but Lauro, he hits it. 39-30, Vikings trail by nine. Number one's doing a super job, William Brogdon. In the corner now. Inside, Dorian Brown, soft jumper, no good. Rebound inside, Castillo shoots it up, he misses. Rebound goes to Burgess. Vikings trail by nine. This is a big sequence here, Steve. But Laro goes to the right side, inside the Burgess. He pump fakes, goes by his man. It's blocked. Ball's head man. Rasa looking in the corner. Yeah. It'll be a Viking ball. I think the Vikings trying to get Dorian Brown, number 32, in foul trouble. Isolated Sean Burgess down low. Try to draw the foul, but just couldn't quite get it. Jenkins with the ball. He's going to drive. Over to Dillard. Shot no good. underneath, shot around and in. Dorian Brown, number 32, is a big factor for the Rams. Burgess faces the shoot, shot is up around, no good. Danny Dillard fights. Great hustle. Inside now, Sean Burgess, pump fakes, he got hit. Yes, no foul. 
Great hustle by Danny Dillon. Yeah. Number 20. He made that play, Steve. Awesome. Brogdon, and the ball's hit, and it'll be a Viking ball. Great move by Coach Grimes the last couple of times down. He changed up the defense. Possible was just getting too many good looks. Here comes Jeremy Dinkins. Controlling the ball. Top of the circle goes left. Pumps it to Sean Burgess. He drives in, shoots it up around. Tip, no good. Rebound to Castillo. Breakaway shot is up around and in. 43-32. Rams go up 11. Jenkins on a three. Yes! Big shot by Jeremy Jenkins. Cuts the classical lead to 43-35. So white good deep. Plenty of time to go in the ball game. Come on, Mike. Back outside now. It's Castillo, number three. To Peter Grassa, number 10. Shot is up, around, and in. Score that hoop. Forty-six thirty-five. Pete Grasso on a bomb. Dad, Burgess shot is up. No good. Rebound inside. To Seaport. Class going to break. Shot is up and good. The Vikings going to take a timeout here with the score. The Rams forty-nine. The Vikings thirty-five. You know, Nick, Vikings are really playing hard out there. They're working hard. Classical is just a very strong team. Matching up very out, very well against the Winthrop size. We got Sean Burgess trying to take a 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, leaper inside, trying to draw the foul. Just can't do it. Well, the Winthrop kids are playing hard. Basketball at any level, Steve. This kid here, number 32, he's been the prime factor for Classical. The Winthrop kids, of course, they're going by their man, but they're a little bit intimidated. He's blocked a few shots. So what they need here, Steve, is actually a couple of quick threes to get right back in this game. And that can happen. Well, we got to get some of the other kids to step up. Jeremy Jenkins stepped up for a couple of hoops. A couple of hoops. We need uh, James Arena very quiet tonight. We need him involved in the action out there. The classical is tough out there. Vikings are working so hard for every basket, and it seems like Classical, every time they went up gets one, Classical gets two easy ones. Do you know what up, Nick? Never say die. Here comes some more fans. Ball's inbounded. To Sean Burgess. Sean coming right at Brown. Goes by him. Shoots it up around. Lays it up. No good. Good hustle on the knees. And the ball just bounces Classical's way. Inside now. Shot is up. No good. And we've got a foul. It'll be over the top on number 32, Dorian Brown. Take a seat. Take a seat. How is he giving a seat? Good night. Dorian Brown. Ball thrown inbound. Taken away. Now here's where the Vikings either are gonna show their talent or classical if they are that talented will come 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 meet the uh, the ability that we were told they had before the game. They've got some good players on the court, Steve, without Dorian Brown as well. Well, you know what? They put Brown out, they picked up the pressure, went to the full court. Trap. Vikings weren't ready for it. First shot by is up and good by Andy Anthony Seaforth, number 10. Seaforth's second shot. Is around and no good. Tipped away. Controlled now. Grasa shoots up a three. No good. Rebound to Jenkins. Jeremy controlling. Goes by his man and he got hit. 35 Vikings trail by 15. Falls inside. 
Deshaun, and we've got a foul. Foul number two, Valerie Lewis. Be inbounded. Arena drives in. James pump fakes, shoots it up and in. Big shot. 50-37. Nine minutes to go in the ball game. Vikings trail by 13. In the corner now, Grassa. Grassa to Castillo. Castillo goes left, shoots it up around. No good rebound. Breakaway now. Arena goes to the hoop and he got fouled outside. Nice foul by Grasso. You can tell he's a coach's son. Arena had a semi break. No, no one on one. Too early. Vikings got to take advantage of Brown being out of the lineup. There's Jenkins in the corner. There's Arena. Ooh, that would have been nice. Well, Steve, this is exactly what you want. You've got the big man, he's out. Vikings fell by 13, and they're at the line. Shot is up and good. James Arena cuts it to 12. Here's the Vikings. They're going to do something here with the trap. Second shot is good. Yeah, there it comes. 50-39. Vikings trapping all over the court. But Alaro takes it away. Oh, strong. Mike drives in, lays it off to Jeremy, lays it up, around and in. 50-41. Vikings have cut the lead to nine. No, no. Now they're back in a D, and there'll be a foul outside. Mike Bartolaro. They're in the perfect position. Look at the Vikings, though, Nick. Down 15. What do they do? Fold? No, they come back. 50 to 35. These kids are very spunky out there, Steve. They love playing. Inside now. Shot is up around, laid up and in. 52 41. Bikes trail by 11. Class going their own press. Burgess drives by, shoots it right up around. No good. It looked like there was a foul on the play. Referee did not blow the whistle. Number 10's mouthing off. Yapping at Sean. Back outside now, it's James to Sean. John Pump fakes and goes left, fakes his man, shoots it up, and he got hit. Fouls on number 10, and that should be a technical foul. Technical foul. I can't understand this. Well, they're not going to call T, but we are going to have a timeout by Tommy Grasso, Lynn Classico. 52-41, Vikings trail by 11. They'll be going to the line, Steve. Great job by Sean Burgess in there. Number 10's mouthing off. That's the worst thing you can do. Why get, why get Sean excited? Looks like Sean got away with the travel that time. Oh, number He'll take it. Anthony Seifert's a very talented player for Lynn Classico. He's too talented to be acting out that way. He's a player. Nick with 7.51 left in the ball game. Vikings down 11. We got Sean Burgess at the line here. How long are they going to leave Brown out, Nick? Let's see. All right. Oh, there he is, Nick. Dorian Brown back in the ball game. One more and he's fouled out, Steve. Imagine this team without Brown. It's like a different team with, with or without him. Well, it's the old story we always say: if we can always get a, we can only get a six-five, six-six center here in winter. If it happens every 10, 15 years, Steve, that's the tough part. It's those airport planes. <laughs> Shot is up and good by Sean Burgess. Well, we've had some great teams here. 95, our last state championship. 63, the great team of 73 that got robbed out of the state championship to Ringe Tech, who went on to beat everybody by 20. 25. 52-42. Oh, 
Vikings trail by 10. Inside now to the big man, Brown. Brown to Brogdon. Brogdon drives up lefty, shoots it in. This kid can play the game. To Sean Burgess. Sean goes by his man. He's coming in on Brown. He shoots it up around, no good. And it'll be a foul over the top on Danny Dillon. Sean hasn't gotten that call all night. Really leaning on with the body. Ball's controlled. Right side of the court. Inside now to Brown. Back outside. In the corner. No good. That looks like you know, it'll be a foul on number two, Valerie L Lewis of the Classical. Vikings will be going to the line, 7.14 to go. They trail by 12. Every shot down the stretch here is so important, Steve. Vikings already shooting one-on-one. -on -one. We got 7.14 left. This is where the great foul shooter, the Vikings, come and really cut into this lead. Jeremy Jenkins going to the line. It's good. 54-43, Vikings trail by 11. Second shot is good. Vikings now trail by 10, 54-44. We hope you've enjoyed the action here on Viking Sports Network. Lewis in the corner now, shot is up around and in by William Brogdon. Beautiful job breaking the trap. They're all shadowing Brown in the middle, though. That's what left it open. Jeremy Jenkins, top of the circle. Nice pick and roll. Shot is blocked inside. That was a beautiful pick and roll, a classic pick and roll, and a tremendous block by Dorian Brown. Tremendous. Back outside, Brogdon. Shot is up. No good. Tipped inside. Coach Grimes yelling for over the top. Fifty-eight forty-four. Vikings trail by fourteen. Dan Dillard drives in and he got foul. Hey, hold the ball. You know, you can't have it on the floor. You gotta just hold it. See if the Vikings stay with that two-two-one trap. Nick, classical didn't have problems with it last time. What? 58-45. Dan Dillard's really hustled tonight, Steve. He's made some tremendous plays. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Danny at the line now. Shot is up. No good. Rebound inside. Controlled by Classical. Jared. Castillo and Danny Dillard has the angle and it'll be... Seaport <laughs> inbounding now. Outside now, shot is up, no good, rebound inside. Controlled. Back out, shot is up around. Nick, Jeremy Jenkins having a good ball game out there tonight. You know what, he's getting a couple of a lot of good looks, taking the ball right to the hole one-on-one, -on -one, made a couple outside shots, you know. This is something they need from him every game, you know. He's got some skills. Well, the Vikings trail by 13, Steve, but this, this has been a very exciting game. Give or take here. The difference is the big guy for Glasgow, number 32, only a sophomore, six foot six in story in Brown, but he has the he has the wingspan of a seven-footer. He has very, very long arms. Looks like a player fouled out here. What do they call the foul on? Grasa, I think he fouled out. He did. He's one of their outside threats, Nick. That could help the Vikings. 
Jeremy's first shot is good. 58-46, Vikings trail by 12. Second shot is good. 58-47. Vikings trail by 11. Inside now, back out. Castillo taken away by Burgess. In the corner now, Arena. Arena pump fakes, back out now. Sean controls it. Inside the mic, Mike Vallara lays it in. Vikings have cut it to nine, 58-49, 5.23 to go. with the ball on the cut now Castillo shoots it up they're gonna count the hoop Brogdon that was a beautiful pass actually that was Seaforth number 10 puts Classico up 60-49 you know, that was a great play by Classico Just came and set a high pick guy rolled we had weak side help they went back to help him then that guy kept rolling and there he was wide open nice play Ball's on the right side to Danny Dillon. Oh, come on. And they're going to call an offensive on Danny Dillon, but they're trying to get that last foul. They're trying to foul Dorian Brown out of the game. It looked like there was a foul. Coach Grimes contending the call with Jay Epstein, the referee. We're going to have a timeout by Lynn Classical's Tom Grasso with the score. The Rams of Lynn Classical 60, the Vikings of Winthrop 49. And Steve, before the cheerleaders entertain us, I can't get under the unconscionable thinking of some people about Ingleside Park. I mean, let's face it, it's a park. Kids are supposed to play there. There's people that think the park should be kids-free. I don't understand that. Anyone who's lived in this town long enough knows that that park has been used for high school baseball, Pony League baseball, junior high school championships with Sid Williams, baseball games were played down there for many years. I remember seeing Bobby Graziano and Billy Dooley throwing 90 mile fastballs down there. Steve, what do you think about that most recently? They don't want the kids down the parks? What, what's going on here? I can't understand this. As well as the, 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 the basketball court was once on Brookfield Road. That's right. And they should be there again, but it's not. I don't know why not. Somebody x the basketball court out. Now the court's where they are, the prime courts of the whole town. When the new school goes in, it's going to be a parking lot. I don't want to know what's going to happen to the basketball courts. Nothing. There's going to be no hoop courts in winter. What's that going to do for the program? Well, something has to be done here. I'll have to make a few phone calls. Back to the action now. Sean Burgess looking right at Castillo. He's up and around. No good. Tipped inside. Rebound Seaforth. Looked like an offensive foul. Here's a traveling violation on Lewis. What action, Nick? There's still, there's still a lot of time here, Steve. 4.41 to go. Vikings trail 60-49. They went back to the zone. Oh. Glasgow well, back to a 1-2-2. Two, two. Well, we'll hit a couple of threes. Inside oh, now, tipped away. Over. In the corner. Arena's bomb is up. No good. Tipped around. Rebound inside. Great fight by Burgess. Pump fakes, lays it in. And now we've got a nine-point game. Vikings trail by nine, 60-51. Lewis with the ball. Shoots up a J, and he scores it. A killer. That hurt. 62-51. Vikings have played well tonight. In the corner now, Arena. Back outside to Jenkins. Over to Burgess. Burgess with the ball. Sean looks to Mike. Mike with the ball. Vettelaro goes by his man to Jeremy. Inside to Sean. Sean pump fakes. Shot is blocked inside. Headman in it. Jenkins. McCreason. Oh, that's Arena. He's coming back. Arena going right, going left. Goes right at the big man. And we've got a foul. Hey. Foul's on number 32. Woo! Dorian Brown, who's had a great game. I mean, they're gonna I call him. Oh, no, they're gonna call it on William Brogdon. Hey, wait. They called it on Brogdon, number one. Shot is up, around, no good. 
We need all we can get at the line. Vikings can cut it to 10. Shane. Oh, ball tipped in. Classic goes Anthony Seifert tipped it in by accident, and the Vikings get a megaton hoop. 62-53. All right, Bob. Ball goes inside now. Brown shoots no good. They're going to call a foul. We haven't seen that in a while here, Steve. Anthony Seifert. He's getting a giggle out of it himself. Dorian Brown at the line. The closest person. First shot is up. He caught. He scores it. Sixty-three fifty-three. Second shot, no good. Tipped away. Vikings needed that one. That right. Costello now inbounding to Brogdon. Brogdon. Top of the circle. Inside. Great hustle by Burgess to Jenkins. Jeremy, left side of the court, looking up. Over to Sean. Sean goes by his man. Tips it over to Arena. James shoots it. No good. Rebound inside to Brown. Castillo, right side. Brogdon. Goes to the baseline, and he was hit. Which classical at the line, one-on-one. -on -one. We'll see what they got down the stretch at the line. Shot is up, no good. Rebound inside, taken away. We've got a foul on Sean Burgess. Anthony Seaforth making a nice play. Another lost ball on a foul shot. That's two in a row. Once again, Steve, we want to thank Mike D'Elia. Mike's done a great job videotaping and filming the games all year. Mike D'Elia, if it wasn't for him, Steve, these games wouldn't be on. He's really done a great job. Shot is up, no good. Rebound, Sean Burgess, 64-53. Jeremy with the ball now to Sean. Bikes trail by 11. Swinging it around now. Inside now, Sean. Pump fakes, it'll be a Viking ball. They're leaving that middle wide open, just taking the trees away from Winthrop. Ball going to be inbounded. Fine. Controlled. In the corner, inside now, Sean Burgess pump fakes, lays it up and in. 64-55. Ball's going to be headman now, and thrown away. And it'll be a Viking ball. Vikings need, need a big bucket here, Steve. Here comes Jeremy Jenkins, controlling the ball. Get a Jeremy, get a Mike Bonilaro shoots it up, oh. no good. Rebound tipped inside. Ball's headman and laid up. Here comes Jeremy Jenkins with the ball. Shot is up, no good. Rebound Jeremy inside. Lays it up and in. We got a Viking timeout with the score, 66-57. Vikings trailed, 153 to go in the ball game. I think that last possession really hurt. We had Bartolaro with that three-pointer. Ball just came loose. Brown threw it down for the easy layup. Those are killers. Yeah, well, you know, if you hit that, the score becomes 64-59. They're down five. And like they say, basketball is a game that, you know, it's just totally unpredictable, Steve. A hoop here, a point here, an inch here. But we'd like to congratulate the cheerleaders as well as all the JVs and the varsity and the freshmen who play here.
at Winthrop High School, as well as the assistant coaches who we talked about, Dave Brown, DJ McPhail, Jack McDonald at the ninth grade level, and yourself at the eighth grade level, spearheaded by Coach Grimes. I can't say enough about the great coaches there are at Winthrop High School. I mean, Pete Grimes has brought a state title to Winthrop. Uh, football did tremendous this year under Anthony Fusillo. Seven and four in the Northeast Conference, the smallest school. It's really been amazing what happens here in this town concerning the lack of fun funding we have. Shot is up and good. That press is tough to put on because they just put Brown in the middle and lob it up to him. Arena shoots up a bomb. No good. Great hustle inside. O'Brien steps back, shoots up a soft jumper. He's got it. 68-59. Bikes trail by nine. Oh, it looked like a travel. Been taken away by Sean Burgess. And we got a foul outside. Vikings will be going to the line. The clock stops. Maybe two sh two shots plus the ball. Now, Coach Grimes trying to get the ball. Two shots plus the ball. That's a good foul. Sean was going in for a layup. It's all right. Sean's awesome at the line. How you doing, Jeff? We have a lot of shot is up and good. Mrs. Castonis is here, the third grade teacher. A lot of teachers watching the games tonight. A lot of students, Nick. Some of the students came out. 68-60. Vikings trail by eight. Sean Burgess' second shot is good. 68-61. You have to admit, Steve, the kids made a great effort here. Not over. Not over. Absolutely not. Driving in now. Shot is up, around, and in. Joe Castillo hit. 70-61. James Arena shoots up a three. It's blocked. Ball's controlled. Headman. Shot is up and no good. We got a timeout. 57 and a half seconds left. Vikings trail 70 61. They've really played hard tonight, Steve. This game could have gone either way. I think the big difference was, of course, Dorian Brown in the middle for Classical. Yeah, Nick, he's absolutely awesome. He's got a big wingspan. He can jump great time, and he had six blocks in the first half alone. You know, got to give the Winthrop kids credit going up against a big guy like that. You know, the Vikings had hit a few of their outside shots, Nick. This would be a tie ball game. Vikings, you know, have not shot that well from outside tonight. You know, they needed a couple of those threes, and they're fairly good outside shooters. Well, we've talked about this so often. You know, the Vikings, Steve, you know, we've got some great student athletes here at Winter High School. And one or two guys leaving the town, going to to another school, which is a trip, you know, which is everybody's option. It it hurts us, especially when we lose a guy six two six three. But that has been talked about many great times. Great student athletes right here. We got two of our captains leading the way: James Arena, Mike Badalaro, on that honor roll. Rebound inside now. Sean Burgess stretches out. Jeremy Jenkins left side over to Arena. Back out to Jeremy. James is wide open, shoots up a three. No good. Retrieved by Classical. Brogdon to dribbling it out. Brogdon goes left, goes right. Brogdon controls. Coach Grimes wants a five-second violation. 70-61. We got Brendan Murphy in the ball game. No, 
Rebound inside now, that's Burgess. And there's O'Brien with the ball, O'Brien middle of the court. Back out now in the corner, Jenkins shoots up a three, yes! Vikings cut it now to seven, inbound, taken away by Murphy, what a play. Murphy dribbles, shoots up a three. Ooh, Ooh almost. Glasgow. Ooh. That's gonna be the ball game. No. Nope. It looks like the ball game is over here. Lorenzo and Glasgow have catapulted themselves to seven wins and no losses, beating the Vikings here at Holland Gymnasium 71-64. A great effort.